Welcome back everybody, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. I am going to do a little night fishing late afternoon, maybe a little night fishing as you can see. So I'm trying to be very quiet because the fish are sleeping. Got him. I told you nice. there's somebody right there. I saw that speck come up. <laughs> Dead on the line motor is Ugh. Nice, that's a keeper. Yeah, nice. it is a keeper. <laughs> I saw it, I said. Nice job, man. I saw it, I saw something disturbed. I said, you know what, I'm gonna swim it through. Watch out, baby. Let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. Let me get this. Oh. Whoa, 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 what do we got there? I'm gonna hey, get it with the name? bait in the mouth. Nice little speckler. It's about 16 inches. That's eight, 17 and a half. Got him on that bite, bite and fight angler. Ooh, man, he was not coming off. That's solid. God, he nailed it. Clean. God, the shot is beautiful. Uh, come on. There that's we go. That's a nice trout. I'm gonna let him make it. As Billy Ray said, no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there it goes. Did you get him? Got him. That's small. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun. Another speckle or sand trout? Which one are you? Sandy. Oh, nope. Come here. Come here. Not too bad. Beautiful. <laughs> Ruben, well, tell me what are you using here? What is this bait? It's a Voodoo Shrimp by Inger Bates. Color? I don't know the name of the color, but it is one of their new colors. Underneath a four horseman popping cork, which you can't go wrong with that cork at all. And um, I'm doing the same, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing the same. Right here. I got that another one's... color on there. I got a natural. What do you got on? A natural with the purple tail. Natural with the purple tail. So that was a few specks that rode through. I could see him kind of darting through here. I'm going to let the lure fall a little bit, and I'm just going to swim it through slowly. You can either rise and let it rise and fall. You can use that technique. Or you can just swim it through. Now, this is a nice paddle tail. It's this bite and fight angler. It has a nice, very nice, that just got hit hard. There's a mullet on that big mullet. But it has a very defined tail so it gives up a lot of vibration I just got hit a couple times slow retrieving it he might be on yep got him that's a little little center out there couldn't tell if it's a but yeah you could see him Just slow retrieve and he took a whack at it Little guy, nice lure. Throw it back out, and we will slow retrieve again. There we go. Oh, it got off. Dang it. That was one right there. That was a nice, nice peck. Maybe you've already been right at the keeper range, but nevertheless, on the voodoo. So we get another one on. I'm 
Just popping it, rising it up, letting it fall. They'll hit it on the fall, or they'll hit it on the pop. There we go. Got that guy. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a real nice one. That is a real nice one right there. Oh yeah. That would, oh, that one's peeping. That one might make it. Just inhaled that voodoo. Oh, oh, come on. Just inhaled that voodoo. All right, so we have been we have been letting these guys cook a little bit in the light. So we will see how well they do. I'm going to try this white one. Oop. Let's see if you can see that. A little bit of glow to it. It's a little bit of glow to it set this down right here and let that continue to absorb light so you feeling this green light over here I can cast to it there it goes that guy out of his neighbor's green light we'll get him over here in the upper I know y'all can't see just wanted to see if it would how, how it would perform in the green light versus on this top light right here never using AM lures or not really never using them at night rather use them during the day but never at night there he goes <sighs> right there yeah sorry the bugs on me oh that's a good one that's a head shaker right here oh. oh oh nice little bread Ooh. That's a nice red. He's undersized. Still good to see one out here. Mixed in with all these schooling trout. All right. Now this is gonna be a juvenile. Man, he feels so good compared to those those specs. See that bite and fight angler. Look at that nice blue pretty tail. Okay, guy. We'll get you off right here. There we go. Nice pretty little red. We'll let him go. More or less just on the retrieve. Dang. Nice slow steady retrieve. There we go. That's another red. Oh, that's a good red. Don't want him to go into the dock. Don't want him to go into the dock. Don't want him to go into the dock. Don't let him go there. Don't let him break me off and go that way either. Ugh. Oh, it's not even a nice red. It's an undersized red, but still a red. Let's get him up here. Here we go. Nice guy. I thought you were a pig. Man, you had a lot of a lot of fight in him. A lot of fight. See, he told you those reds, they like that straight retrieve. Let's see. Oh, we can get you cooperate. There's the 
There's that nice lure in his mouth. Nice guy, blue tail. Get him off and get him on his way. Just caught him right underneath. That came off. Sorry, bud. Let me drop you. Nice little guy. Head first. He is gone. Another red. Look at this little school over there. Mm. Get this guy up here. Oh, uh, here we go. Man, they like that shed. That shed is putting it on them. Anger bait. Getting it done. That's a nice color. Yeah, nice fish there. fish there we go okay okay no big deal we got you we got him nice guy right there oh look at that line let him go oh, my big has that thing heard that pool somebody big tugged on it all right, so that's gonna do it. You know, I spend uh, about five, about five hours out there fishing, just right before sunrise, late evening, just right before sunrise, evening into the nighttime. Now, I had a really good time out there. I appreciate my friend letting me come out there and fish off his property, try to target some specks. I was lucky and able enough to get onto a few reds. I think I had one red that may have been pretty close to slot. I know I had a couple of slot specs, but not not anything really not anything really huge. But I wanted to try a few a few new lures that I just got for fishing at nighttime and I did that. I wanted to have just a nice chill time and throw the line and catch some fish and pull some fish out and I did that. I just like catching fish i don't care if it's by fresh live cut bait doesn't matter to me if it's artificial or not i just love and enjoying catching fish it's um it's a passion it's a sickness it's an addiction it's whatever you want to call it but it is a great time and i am glad that you were able to come out with me and enjoy my experience out there I hope to see you back here again soon, and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.